We're saying goodbye to September and hello to the even colder October, or if you're in the southern hemisphere, even warmer. September seems to have flown by and with all the excitement of the Halloween update, it's easy to forget about those critters that will have arrived and those that will be bidding farewell after the spooky day itself. But don't worry, I'm here to talk you all through them just like every other month. If you haven't seen these videos before, we start by going through all the new things that have arrived and then we head on into what will be leaving come midnight on November 1st. I do this for both hemispheres and timestamps are in the description below so you can skip to where you need to be. Since moving things to my new PC, some of my footage just started disappearing and although I've managed to recover and recapture some of it, some footage has been lost to the void so some creatures may just have a picture instead so sorry about that. So let's start with the northern hemisphere and their new fish. Because the waters around the island in the north are really beginning to cool down, we are only seeing the return of two fish this month, so you may have already caught them. In the river you'll find the yellow perch all day, and in the sea will be the dab, again found all day. As for what is leaving on the 1st of November, there is a fair amount. In ponds, catfish are available 4pm until 8am. In rivers, available between 9am and 4pm are beta and rainbow fish. Angelfish between 4pm and 9am. Snapping turtles from 9pm until 4am. And tilapia are available all day. In the sea, moray eels and ribbon eels are available all day. And specifically at the pier, giant trevally and mahi-mahi are available all day. The mahi-mahi and I are in fact still at war. As for what's new for the north in bugs, again, we don't have much. In fact, it's only one thing and it's the ladybug which is available on flowers from 8am until 5pm. But as for what's leaving, there's again quite a bit. Flying around, yellow butterflies can be found between 4am and 7pm. Red dragonflies between 8am and 7pm, and Dana dragonflies and banded dragonflies between 8am and 5pm. On flowers, stink bugs are available all day, man face stink bugs are found from 7pm until 8am, and ladybugs will be leaving as fast as they returned with again being found from 8am until 5pm. On the ground, bell crickets are available from 5pm until 8am, scorpions from 7pm until 4am, and tiger beetles can be found all day. Moving on to the deep sea creatures. New to October, we'll be seeing the spiny lobster and Venus's flower baskets between 9pm and 4am, and the return of seaweed, which is available all day. Leaving on November 1st, however, is the spotted garden eel, which can be found between 4am and 9pm, and the giant isopod, which is available between 9am and 4pm, and 9pm and 4am. Now things in the southern hemisphere are heating up which means there are a fair amount of new fish coming your way. In ponds you will start seeing killifish and crawfish all day. In the river, guppies and neon tetra are found between 9am and 4pm and snapping turtles between 9pm and 4am. And in the sea, all of the following are available all day. Seahorse, clownfish, surgeonfish, butterflyfish and zebra turkeyfish. As for what is leaving on November 1st, you'll only be saying goodbye to three things, all of which are found in the ocean. Dab are available anywhere in the ocean all day, and specifically at the pier, tuna and blue marlin are also available all day. As for the bugs, again there's a good amount of new bugs this month. Flying around between 8am and 5pm you can find the agrius butterfly, the rajabrook's birdwing and the dana dragonfly. Between 8am and 4pm the madagascan sunset moth, and from 4am until 7pm common blue bottles. On trees between 7pm and 4am you can find the atlas moth. On tree stumps, jewel beetles are available all day. On the ground, from 8am until 7pm, long locusts can be found. On fresh water, giant water bugs will be available from 7pm until 8am, and fleas can be found jumping on your villagers at any time of the day. And as for what's leaving, there is only one, and that is the tarantula, which is available from 7pm until 4am. Finally, on to the new deep sea creatures. The southern hemisphere can welcome two new sea creatures this month. Lobsters and sea pineapples, both of which can be found all day. And there are three sea creatures leaving, all of which are available all day. Sea cucumber, spider crab and the snow crab. So that's all you need to know about what's new this month and what we'll be saying sayonara on the 1st of November. But what can you expect next month? Well the northern hemisphere will start hitting their critter drought soon but not quite next month as there are a couple new fish still showing up. Bitterling, blowfish, tuna, blue marlin and football fish will all be making an appearance next month. As for bugs, there will be damselflies and the return of the mole cricket and tarantula. And there will be a fair few new sea creatures to look forward to. Dungeness crabs, red king crabs, crabs, sea cucumber, sea pigs and snow crabs. And as for the southern hemisphere, you'll be happy to know your critter boom has just begun with next month's fish including frogs, catfish, nibblefish, angelfish, beta, rainbowfish, giant trevally and mahi-mahi. Bugs will include great purple 
purple emperors, Queen Alexandra's birdwings, banded dragonflies, pond skaters, diving beetles, violin beetles, Rosalia Batesy beetles, and scorpions. And finally, sea creatures you'll start seeing will be gigas giant clams, sea urchins, slate pencil urchins, spotted garden eels, and vampire squid. As usual, any mistakes in this video will be corrected in a pinned comment down below. I hope this video has been helpful, a like would be appreciated if it has. Comment down below what you're most looking forward to catching this month, or if you're struggling with anything like I am with the Mahi Mahi. Subscribe to see more from me, follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram to see what else I get up to, join the Discord for some wholesome fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye!